Hello everyone, Dan the 14th Prime here. Today I want to share with you guys the Square Enix Play Arts Kai Marvel Universe Spider-Man limited color version here. Black suited Spider-Man looking really cool. Let's check this thing out. So here you can check out the front of the box, kind of similar to the Red Venom, very colorful, sharp looking, glossy box. Again, color variant for this figure, so you've got the usual Marvel Universe variant Play Arts Kai box there. It's got Spider-Man in sort of his regular colors. You got basically a sticker in a the corner there of him in the black suit. When you spin this thing around to the side here, artwork just kind of carries over. Flip it around the back. Product shot of the original on the left, and then they do actually have product shots on the right there of this variant black version. Give it another spin. You just get into kind of some of the branding and lettering. So that is, again, the nice box. Flap flips out here. I've got the figure out of the box. He would be over here. He comes with this, uh, they come with these nice stands. I never get into putting them all together, but kind of standard issue with this type of figure. And then over here on the left side, again, product shot, really cool pose. Love this, the posability of this figure. You can really do like real Spider-Man poses. So that's what's cool about it. Cool product shot there. Bunch of words here that you can pause and read. All right, so here he is out of the box. Again, love, love the way this works with a pack figure. You get this great articulation, so you can do these legit classic Spider-Man poses, and it works really well. I'll stand the figure up here in a second, but you can take a look. Obviously, you know, a little stylized. It's, you know, it's the black suit, but they got a lot of extra white lining in there. Just really, really fine paint detailing. You'll see that better when we stand him up. Um, you know, at first I was like, man, that's that's a little bit too stylized for me, but it's growing on me. It does look really, really cool. Interesting twist on the classic black suit. And again, because it all is like this webbing effect sort of through the suit, you know, I think it works. They do do some other kind of stylization that I'm less fond of, but it's not super noticeable. But there's really some color variations going on. You can kind of see some blues and you'll see some purples here through the back. Um... And I think there's some silvers in places as well that you'll see when you stand them up. So didn't love it, but it's kind of subtle and it blends a little bit. But let's stand this guy up and take a better look at him. So here's our guy standing up. You can start to see a lot more of that stylization, um, which you may or may not like when you stand him up just straight away. I think he's got the cool, again, just to repaint, but just to recap the mold a little bit. Very kind of cool, lanky classic kind of Spider-Man build. So I think the build of the figure works. Kind of looks like he's got long legs, kind of skinny, you know, skinny waist, bigger shoulders. So I think the build and the mold works. In terms of the paint detailing, and we'll go in closer, but again, there's blues and purples and silvers up here on the shoulder and the chest area, and that's where it starts to get a little bit of extra stylization versus just, you know, the black suit with the white uh, webbing painted throughout it. But I'll give this guy a spin. You can just kind of check out the white angle. We'll say he's got some daintier feet, so standing him is a little tougher. Obviously, the stand would come in very handy to do a lot of sweet posing with this guy. And again, if you're not too familiar, pack about a 10-inch figure. And you can see a lot more of that color variation here on the back, blue and purple and everything going on. But I think just really gives you a sense for kind of the mold, how they stylized it overall, which is still very much recognizable Spidey and a lot of fine detailing with that paint through the suit. All right, so let's go in a little closer here on Spidey. He just comes with this one head sculpt, so there's no other head variations. I'll let you just kind of check it out. It's pretty classic, just black Spider-Man with some fine paint details and the webbing through the head, which are really nicely done. I got to say, that's like really good paint work because all of those webbings, and you'll see it all through the suit, are just such fine lines. And it looks like it's all hand painted. It's not like in the mold or anything. It looks like someone had to go in there with a brush and kind of paint all that through. So really, really nice. A lot of super great detail. Like the eyes kind of got some white to kind of black shading up into the corner. So that's cool too. But just the one head sculpt. But I think it's a good one. It's a very classic kind of spidey look. It's the one you'd want. 
And then let's go down to figure here and you can kind of check it out, right? So just, I mean, it almost looks busy. There's just so much fine paint detailing. But again, when you step back, it, it looks pretty good. Pieces that I love less, let's say, are like these silver pieces here, here. Would prefer that to just be kind of regular black. And, you know, I'm not crazy about kind of blue accents either. That's where they're starting to stylize a little bit more. And I think overall the torso just looks busy. I mean, you've got the white lining plus the Spidey logo going on already, which is a lot. And then you've got those extra accents too, which just really makes it look busy. But again, it's just a lot of good work in there. A lot, a lot of good paint work. And we'll just kind of jump down here through that midsection. This piece just kind of like floats, you know, kind of like in a floating rubber piece. So you can move the legs everywhere you want to do. So that helps with the articulation. A lot of good detail through the red. And here's where you start to see kind of purple in the belt, purple in the thighs. Blue coming across the thighs. So more color. Coming down into the shins. We just have a lot, a lot of good white lining there on the shins and calves. Even down into the feet, we see those little X's on the toes. Spin them around here on the side. There you got the profile of the head again. Better look at that shoulder. You can see how they're using those silver accents on kind of the front and rear you know, deltoids of the shoulder, which again are a little bit stylized for me. But look at all this nice webbing painted through the arm. That looks really good and down into the hands. Really fine detailing. And if I just pull his arm up out of the way, you can see that kind of going underneath as well. They've got the blue and the purple, so how that wraps around. Looks really good underneath as well. And then we'll just jump down, do the leg. Again, there's that blue that you saw kind of wrapping across the front of the thigh. It kind of starts back here, actually towards the butt section, and kind of comes forward and wraps around. So the thighs are... Interesting. There's more color on the thighs and then the calves. You just get like the black and fine white lining. I mean, I'd like if it would be cool, I think, to see a version with just like all the black, which is the white lining detail and like do away with the blue and, and the purple and the silver and stuff like that and make it really classic black Spider Man with just all this fine white detailing. I think that would have probably been uh, perfect for me again because my personal preference is less stylization. Then around back, you can check this out. The way to do the back, um, you know, you got a pretty tight Spidey logo kind of on the upper shoulder section. And that was that piece, those stripes are actually coming around to the front. Then through here, kind of getting in this purple accents and blue accents stuff. So it's been cool if they would have just made maybe a bigger Spidey logo. Realized they would have had to paint, probably split it and paint a top and a bottom on two sections, but bigger Spidey. Bigger Spider-Man logo would have been uh, good for me. A lot of fine detail in there through the belt section, then down to the back of the legs. Where again, I'll just jump down so you can see how that happens. Again, that blue kind of starts like in the butt and comes out and around. They've got it behind the back of the calf there. Okay, so really sharp looking figure. And again, other benefit of pack is just crazy good articulation. If you're not familiar, they're all kind of the same, but I'll just kind of do a quick demo here. I mean, you can pretty much get the head. It's pretty much on a ball joint. So come down. It's like the top piece is on a ball joint. So you can get that looking up pretty good. A little bit more probably nice, but pretty good looking down. And then this piece kind of the next section rotates as well. It stops here on the back from going all the way up. That would probably help you get the head straighter out. But you get a lot of what you need there, and then you can even kind of Cock the head a little bit because, again, it's just on a ball joint. So all good head articulation. Shoulders are going to come up even, you know, like beyond 180 degrees. The way this is built, like it's pretty much hard plastic, but then through here they're using like a softer rubber, which helps aid some of the articulation. So you can get things like that to happen. Spin the arm around. You know, it's going to go kind of in and out even right there like that. Bicep joint up high near the shoulder. Kind of another pivot here at the elbow. And the hands pretty much spin too. So a lot of just kind of ability to spin at different sections. Um, pretty good. Pretty good elbow there. And again, you can pivot, twist, do whatever you need. Um, on the hand, just depending on how you twist it, you can get like side to side. 
or spin it the other way and you can get more like up. So into the chest here, you can spin it with like a torso joint and get crunch like that and get back and always opens up a little bit. So that's the watch out when you go back. It's not as bad as some of the other figures actually, but it does open up underneath. And then you get like some true waist turn there as well. So you can just, you know, twist, twist, do all kinds of stuff that you'd want to do. You know, the articulation is, you know, beyond human possibilities. So you can pretty much get about any type of pose you'd want. Then if you come down to the lower body, and this is where your Spider-Man figures really separate themselves, you don't get a ton of just like straight away um, split movement. But these are on ratchets, obviously, and you can, you know, get things going like this. You can put the legs back and forward so you can get good kind of split movement like this. You just don't get a lot of, like, pulling it out. Oh, there it goes a little bit better. It might just be a matter of trying to find... Yeah, I kind of play with it. It's not true side to side. That's still more of, like, almost like a split but you get a little bit better like that but again spider-man's got to have great leg articulation to hit those poses it's got a swivel here at the knee the knees pretty much gonna be able to kick himself in the butt and then he's got a foot just kind of will do everything you need right pivot around match it up and down there's a little bit of toe articulation there uh, kind of pivots uh, side to side a little bit too so Everything you need here, and again, the most important is like for me, it's like these hips and the knees to be able to get, whoops, you know, like deep, deep spidey crouches, you know, stuff like this going, and even more, you know, like this going, which is what's great that you can do with a pack figure. You know, this is this is really one figure where the stand make a huge difference to how you can kind of create some of the poses and keep balance. We'll make him look like he's flying through the air. You can put a lot of cool poses on, but obviously he's not going to be able to like stand. Stand in something like that, at least not for long. You'll probably get it balanced for a second, um, but the stand will help accommodate that. Okay, so Spidey comes with a bunch of different uh, extras and different types of accessories, kinds of like hands and webs and stuff like that. So let's check that out. Again, no extra head sculpt, but lots of like little extras. So first thing he has is this, which seems to just be a stand accessory, a little bit of an accent. Again, there's the main kind of figure plastic stand for all types of posing. This just looks like it would be a kind of decorative accent that you could put underneath the base, next to the base, um, for a little bit of extra flair. So you can check that out. Nice looking, sharp, you know, good color scheme, all consistent with the figure. It also comes with two webbings. These might be a bit difficult to see, so I'm trying to turn down some lights. A little bit better, so you can see he's got two of these shorter webbings. They're kind of like clear plastic with, you know, white and blue paint here and dark accent paints through them to give it a little bit of color and noticeability. But, you know, maybe these are like six inches long or so. They can plug into different hands, which I'll show you, and you can put different accents on the end. Like, for example, there's these basically just bullet ends to the web. So those could plug in. And again, you could plug in that to the wrist and make it look like well he's just shooting sort of a regular webbing and you can see here you get like a hand like this to kind of just plug that into so you can deck them out with that with a classic sort of hand effect that gives the beginning of the web the web shot and then kind of the bullet end if you will so you can do some poses and setups like that and you do get two of those ending web bullets just like you get two of those six inch web slings you also get a longer web sling. You know, it's similar. This is the original one I showed you, which I said was maybe six inches. So this one's obviously, you know, more like a foot long or so. Uh, so pretty similar um, effect, but really this one is not for the accessories. Obviously it's too long to hold weight to it, just like droop. So this is more for just kind of a up shooting web effect um, that you would plug into his, um, that you would have him hold actually, excuse me, that he could be holding. You could hook this end onto something, there's a little hook, and you could have him just grabbing this web 
with one of his hands, for example, like this. It took me a second to get that, but there's this kind of slightly open hand, and I'll show you a closer look at all the hands, but that can hold the rope. So he could look like he's swinging from something longer if you want to kind of hook that on or just kind of put it up into the air. More of a web swinging effect. Then his last web effect is basically this, well, web, web looking effect. You check that out, it's pretty cool. Kind of silvery, some blue accents in the center. And again, this is another one of those things that could plug onto the end of one of these shorter guys if, if you'd like to kind of do something more like this. You could do that. Or if you just had this web handout, you could just plug it straight into that and do a little bit more closer up sort of web blast effect straight out of the hand. So that's an option. So this is this is a pretty cool accessory. Okay, so let's kind of take a closer look at the hands. This is, you get a pair of kind of classic Spider-Man web blasting hands here. And again, all that nice fine white detailing paint is on all these hands. It's been around and you get that look where the web is starting to kind of blast out of the wrist. You can see that looks head on and that's where you just kind of plug in the various web accessories that I walked you through. So two of those. You get a pair of just regular closed fists. So pretty straightforward. You can take a look at these. No openings or anything, just simple closed fist. I will say it's nice. All these hands have like the little web effect piece there, which is cool. You also get a pair of these softer open hands. These are the hands that were holding the web line that I showed you before. You can see how those kind of just have a little bit of open fist and you can just squeeze in the webbing if you want to do some swinging poses. And then here last set, you get kind of just the classic um, Spider-Man web shooting hand, but no web action coming out. And look at that, I mean, they're doing the white detail paint kind of all the way on the inside of the knuckle there, which is awesome. So lots of hands, all really nicely done. And if you didn't notice on the figure, kind of the main hand that he comes with is just like a open hand, kind of like web crawling sort of hand look. So you get a pair of those on the figure. All right, so you've seen everything to see. Now I'm just gonna go through and break out some poses and let you check this guy out. guys so there you have it square enix pack limited color edition black suited spider-man we're gonna swing out of here hope you like the video see you next time hello everyone dan the 14th prime here today with the square enix marvel universe variant play arts kai action figure venom 